Hello everybody, what's up? Captain Turbo here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable 2. Uh, this part, we are still currently on the Bandit Coast. Well, I should say, we've just started the Bandit Coast, and we did pick up a potion of... I think it was Beetlestrom, uh, which is basically just free experience you can get throughout the game. That doesn't give a lot, but it gives 100 to strength, which isn't bad. I'm just showing off what I have here. And hey, it's free experience, you may as well pick them up when you can. Apologies guys, I'm having a drink. And I have uh, enough will to upgrade something apart from the force push. Uh, and for some reason, I end up getting a lot of shit I probably shouldn't have bothered with spell-wise, but um, here's the thing, with the way I'm picking up uh, potions and stuff that can increase my experience and the amount of experience I'm getting, it's not really a massive deal. And you actually can get even more. There's actually an augment for getting more experience for uh, killing enemies with a certain weapon. So, you know, there's plenty of diff different ways to get it. And I got the Vortex spell because I got it confused with um, the Vortex and Fire spell from Fable 3, which is completely OP. Uh, which I don't know if I did during the live stream or not, uh, but it was massively overpowered. This is the uh, the vortex spell. It does some, you know, it does decent damage and all that, and it does fling people away. But the thing is, it's very very similar to a force push, so uh, I actually would not bother. If you're gonna use one, don't bother with the other. It's the best advice I can really give you uh, for this. We can increase our speed as well now, which is nice. This guy does not want. To, ah, there we go. Uh, an area I am fairly sure I missed earlier, but I don't think it's anything important up here, so we'll just let that slide. I didn't see any items or anything, the dog wasn't going berserk, so whatever. Uh, there's going to be a fair amount of um, bandits and highwaymen around here, so you know, we're going to be at this for a little while, just um, fighting and killing and fighting and killing and fighting and killing constantly. Um, but that is pretty much what you expect on the Bandit Coast. It's again, it's actually another decent place to level grind, but the thing is the areas are a lot smaller. And it's a lot darker around here as well, so... You know, it, it's not my favourite place to grind if I need to, but... Um, it, it's an option. Uh, there are plenty of people to kill around here after all. But as I said, with this game you never have to grind. If you do need to grind, then it might be time for you to consider... Handing in your gamma card, I'm afraid. A pretty cool tornado effect, though. There's a chest back here. Actually, I think there might be another one. I'm not sure. I'm going to find out shortly. A resurrection file. And two children's potions. Always good to have a couple of resurrection vi uh, vials on um, hand. In case the worst happens. Here's the thing, getting knocked out isn't really a detriment, but as I said before, you will lose experience if you, uh, that you haven't uh, used yet, which is a pain in the ass. Another silver key, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Not a whole lot more to say at the moment, guys. It is pretty much what it is. We're just finding bandit after bandit after bandit. Unfortunately, I mean, I make these some of these fights a lot longer than they really have to be, just because I keep using uh, the um. The Vortex spell, even though, as I said before, it's not really the best spell in the world, so... Take that as you will. I basically just came back around there just to see if there's anything to pick up, there isn't, so... Another dig spot? I should say a dig spot.
What did we get here? Ah, the Fumbling Skill Potion. Don't know what that does. Uh, I think it gave us... Oh, it gave us about 300 to our skill. Hey, but again, better than nothing. Who wants to rip the beating heart out of his uh, This is probably one of the better places to use Force Push, actually, because if you can get them on the... Uh, on your left side, you can knock them straight into the fucking ocean, which will instantly kill them. And yeah, I believe it doesn't take me long before. Oh, as you see, oh, you see they get flung off. But uh, with that, you have to be a bit lucky as well. So, uh, two paths here. Uh, the main path is where you want to go, obviously, to continue on. But if you take the bottom path down here, past the bushes, uh, you will get a hidden area. Uh, where you can get a chest as well as a gargoyle, actually, I believe. I keep trying to fling them off with Vortex, but it isn't working nearly as well as I'd hoped it would. Oh, yeah, as you can see here, you can break um, crates and stuff, but there's not really anything inside them like there was in Fable 1. And that is when I realized the dog was limping, so I went over to heal him. Because I'm a good dog owner. Yeah, come here, buddy. Come here. Maybe you actually start doing something to help. Alright, so again, don't need to go along this path here, but uh, it will send you to... Um, in the area in a moment, where we're going to get some more stuff. Couple more bandits to take care of first. Yeah, I really wish I'd just use fucking force push here. Oh well, can't be helped. I chose to do this this way. As you can see, I uh, start uh, transferring everything back to force push, just because it's so much more fun. I don't know. No, I wouldn't say fun. It's just more. Useful to use, in my opinion. That was a. Uh, that was a surprisingly quick loading screen there. I didn't um. I didn't cut it out in Obsidian Java Potion again. And get the crossbow at the ready. And that will make number 14. It might be a bit longer loading coming out because obviously it's got to load the entire area, I think. Oh, we're going to find out in a moment. No, no, I guess it just like... Because it's such a small area, it just loads it as an extra bit, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, basically here I'm trying to look for the spire in the background and I realize I'm in the wrong part of the world for the... Um, for that, so can't be helped. Got the treasure chest over here. Need ten for this one, apparently. Got plenty more than that. I don't think it's a lot. I think it's gold. Yeah, it is. It's a thousand gold, which is fine, but it's not really a massive amount at this point in the game anymore. Those are the ugliest damn crows I've ever seen. Right, always good to knock them down first, of course. Uh, using force push again. Unfortunately, everybody was already knocked down, so nobody was really affected by it. I've seen better moves than a bag of sap. I'm sure you have. Plenty more where that came from. Yeah, believe it or not, we're still not at the end of the bandit camp yet. It's a little while to go. Uh, this area is pretty annoying just because it's hard to see where the enemies can be at times, unless you're focusing in with your spell or your crossbow or whatever. What are you? A pin cushion? And the dog is going crazy because there's a treasure chest. That, it, it must have like a certain priority where if it sees a chest or a digging spot, that's got like first priority over, you know, attacking enemies or something because he does it so fucking often where I just want him to help me in a fight and nope. 
he's found something he's interested in, he's gonna go sniff another fucking dog's balls and I'm gonna be there bleeding out and the dog's not gonna give one fucking iota of um You didn't leave me much choice of giving a fuck. Alright, so our reward for killing all those bandits will be A Amethyst. Nice. Uh, not the worst. I, I, I can never remember what's the worst. Uh, by worst, I mean like the lowest value gem in this game. I think it might be Jet, but I'm not sure. I know Diamond's the best one you can get, but that goes without saying, really. It's either Gem or Amethyst, but I'm not sure which one it is. Speaking of Jet, we got one there. And here's the main bandit camp, by the way. This must be the infamous barricade. Doesn't look that tough. Stand and fight, you cowardly knaves! I've right, got a lot of them to kill here. I think there's got to be about 30 easy in this area. So uh, this is going to be a bit of while, a bit of time before we finish killing everybody off here. There's not really a lot to say. The Highwayman himself is sort of a mini boss, if you want to look at it that way. He has a shitload of health and he can hit pretty quickly. Uh, but there's not really much else that's going to be a problem here. It's just essentially overwhelming numbers that's going to be a problem. Everything else? Eh, it's not going to be too much to worry about. I got Brutal Styles upgrade available, which is nice, but I don't think I end up using it. Uh, there's also a bunch of them hidden up in higher areas, so even after you think you're done with these guys, yeah, there's going to be more coming. No, I wasn't kidding. There's probably not 30, but there's probably... 20, 20 or so, which in this game is actually a f pretty much a fucking platoon of enemies, really. It's not often you'll fight more than that. In the background, if you can't hear, we have a fucking gargoyle going off, probably giving a shit about how we're fighting. But then again, the fucking... Bandits are giving pretty good commentary to themselves, so... Maybe we ought to run. I just realized the sun's coming up in the bandit camp. The game is on the eternal, like, timer sort of thing, but as I've mentioned before, you know, it, there is a day-to-night cycle in the game. I uh, believe that 6.02am is not in reference to the actual time it was in real life when I recorded this. It is pretty much just the time that the game is currently at um, during its day to night cyc uh, cycle. Although, it could have been around that time that I believe weapon. when I recorded it. Oh, nobody got, nobody got affected by that. That was a bang. Hate it when nobody gets affected by the spell. See, there everybody gets affected, and I'm a happy camper. Take it like a bandit and hit it. You don't stand a chance against us. There is a shitload of them here, and they're all pretty fucking annoying to deal with. Just because they keep blocking, or I can't knock them when they're down like this. Oh, I can knock them. The, sorry, I can hit them, but I can't fucking kill them. Hey, look at me when I'm insulting you, you walking sack of compost. What's this guy doing next to Hammer? Oh, 
And there you go, he's dead. Hopefully that's the last of them. Right, so the dog's found treasure. Uh, there's also a couple of things down at the bottom as well that I'll be getting this sh uh, shortly. But we'll see what our reward is for that. Now you actually need to heal up, I just realized. I hope I do that at some point. A concentrated XP potion. I think that's the best one you can get. Or No, it isn't. It's actually pretty poor. Oh, what's the best one then? And that's the 15th Gargoyle dealt. As I said, the next milestone.